Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask sensitive data in AppSheet. Ideally, you can use this masking if you are entering credit card details of your customers and you are giving limited access for those users who can view the credit card details. So I have here a sample application. Actually, this is a credit card entry. So this view is basically this is for the data entry wherein they cannot view the credit card, the full credit card details. And I have the admin view here, which is I can view the full details of the credit card. So what will happen is when the user entered the credit card details of the customer, let's say I'm going to enter here American Express. Let's say three, start with three, then So let's say I'm gonna use this. Then once I go to the next tab, it's gone. Then expiry, and then the year, and then this is the credit card details. So it's masked the full details of the card. And then once I hit save, <clears throat> it goes here, and then it's identify if it's Amex or Visa or Mastercard. So let me wait. So it's Amex. Then if the user edit this, let's say if they want to go to a detailed view, they can still view the mask details. Then once they edit it, it's reset to the value. However, if you are the admin or if you are giving an access to a user wherein they can view the credit card details, you can create a separate view then here i have the separate view for credit card then here i can view the full details and i can also edit it and also it's reset the value okay so i will show you how to mask this sensitive data in AppSheet. so let's go to my app editor <clears throat> so here in my app editor i have this one table only which is the data entry I have the data table here and let's view the columns. So what I did here in here in the credit card number, you know, if you go to here and then once you put the data, let's say like this, like this, it's gone. So what I did and apply an expression here, this is the expression I use. I'm using or expression. So if it's blank, when you're going to enter a new data, a new data entry, it's blank. So you will show this column. So it's blank credit card number. Then in context view, meaning these are the, the view that I allow to see the credit card <clears throat> numbers. So the context view is this. So I created a new view which is available only for admin, which is the credit card view. So in credit card view, I can see this. So that's why I added this option or is blank, this zero credit card number or in context view list. These are the list that I'm allowing and I'm allowing to view the credit cards numbers. Okay, and then you can just uh, copy all of this expression and paste it also in credit card details. I'm sorry, in expiry month, the same formula, and then expiry year. Then over here in the credit card details, this is the main the main part here. Uh, I will show you how I mask the how I mask the credit card details. So here I'm using this expression left and right. So if you're not familiar with it, you can go to AppSheet Help. All the uh, documentation for that expression is there so i'm using here concatenate then left means this is the the first digit i mean the first text on the left side wherein the target column is the credit card number so the credit card number here <clears throat> here is the credit card number so what i did is number six so meaning i will um the first six letters of the of that column so that's why 
I when I go to when you go here, it's mask at here. It's mask up to six. Uh, six numbers. So I have here six numbers. So you can also customize the six. Let's say you want to mask only. Uh, this is you will show only up to six digit or up to five digit. Then here you can put a comma and then you can put this uh, expression like uh, asterisk. So this is actually six digits. This is the remaining digits of the credit card. Then comma and then on the right and then you can use this right expression which is meaning the right if you go here in the last one here. So how many digits you want to see? I mean you want to let the user see. So here I choose four. So you can see it's number four here. Then here's it's just simple space because I don't want the, I don't want my view to be the expiry. There is a space here, so I use space. Then the card expiry itself. So that that's how I did the the uh, masking of details. So you can copy this. I can also place this in the expression. I mean, in the description of, of my YouTube of this YouTube video for your reference. So next is the card expiry. So card expiry is just a combination of these two, which is in um, expiry month and year is just a simple concatenate, concatenate expression. So that's how I did it. Then in the card type, I'm using here the if statement. And then I use this expression called start suites because I need to identify if it's master, MasterCard, if it's a Visa or is it an Amex. So what I did here, I use this F expression since I'm using multiple expression here. Then I use the formula, the expression starts with, and this row credit card number, meaning here, what I did is just here is the credit card number. Let's say I put five. So five represents MasterCard. So what, the, and four represents Visa, and three represent as Amex. American Express. So here I use starts with this credit card number. If it's five, then close this uh, close this expression. It's master. Then another expression starts with. If it's four, then it's Visa. Then starts with. If it's three, then it's Amex. That's how I did it. And also in the image, I wanted to convert um, whatever is the result. If it's a Visa. I wanted to convert this text into an image, which is I use it for display only here. So if you go here, you can see there is a display. So this is how I did that is only text icon, then this row that card type, which is the card type. This is the virtual column that I created here. Then if you want to give an access to the to the other user, let's say to the the one who can view the sensitive data, you can create a different slice here. The slice, there is no any formula. And you can just do the same like this. All right, so I will show you how I did it. So this is how to five, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Let's say this is the card. So this is how you mask the masking the sensitive data in AppSheet. So if you learned something in this video, please don't forget to subscribe or if you have any any questions, you can feel free to ask a question in the comment section or you can contact me. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.